we, we have freedom that we can believe any religion. But for us, we go through when we got saved that we have family that don't like what we believe. When I got saved when I was uh, 20, I started that I got saved and I know the Lord now. But after that, not long ago, I turned to 21. When I turned to 21, I, I, I have to, I have to uh, when the man in Thailand, you know, Buddhism, that have to, be, have to be a monk in the temple for your dad, for your mom, that uh, they believe that they will help them to go to heaven. When I turned to 21, that my dad spec me to go to mom. And he get everything ready that speak that I will have to go to do that. I, 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 I told that, you know, I, I, I know this thing is coming soon and, and I like, I'm not sure what to do. Should, when should I tell him that I am Christian now? I can't do that. So, it's about one month before that the thing gonna happen and I I have to go to be a mom. And and I tell my dad and my dad say that I, I say that uh, I, I, I'm sorry and uh, now I Christian. I sorry that I don't tell you before but I, I have to tell you now because I can't do this thing. And my dad say, Well, you just do it and then uh, and then you can go back to be a Christian. I say no. I cannot do that for you. And I, 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 I say no. And my dad is upset. I only one son in the home. And I have to do that. And he upset that, that I not do that for him. And he just cut me off. We've been from talking almost every week on the phone I in Bangkok, my father in about eight hours away from, 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 from Bangkok. If, if you've been to Thailand or if you look in the map, you know, Bangkok is capital city in Thailand where everybody traveling from long way work there and send money home. So I got saved in, 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 in well, Bangkok and uh, um, so when I work and I met him, uh, Pastor Shemish, and I met him there, and then, so I got saved there. I go to church there, but you know, I I tell my dad on the phone, and uh, my dad just not talk to me anymore. My mom's cry, like they get everything ready, they have to stop everything. They feel shameful. They feel they feel like they they they, 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 they son is it, it turned against them. And it all that's happened, it just hurt me. And I I, I, I never feel like you know the, what do you call the past of your family before. We we always like anything that we hope each other we be to uh, be, be be together. Anything we can do. That's, that's what we have. The government not going to help us anything. Other people not going to help you much. Only family. Thailand family is very, very important. I believe here is the same, right? Family is just really important to us. So to, to that happen, it's just something I never expect in my life. I cry for, I think... Two months, three months. When that happened, I talked to pastor. I talked to my pastor in Thailand. I said, what should I do? Should I just go, just do what he tell me to do? What should I, what should I make it that I can come back to my dad? I, I don't like this attention. I don't like this, like, I call home, I can't talk to my dad. And, and he don't want to talk to me. And actually one day he been to hospital because of stress and the thing that happened to him and upset. 
And I, I think it's the most painful thing in my life when this happened. You know, you, 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 sometimes you feel like, well, Christian, we support to, our life should support to be changing and be better. But not for me. From the day I rejoiced my salvation and, 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 and know that God saved me from sin and He died for my sin. I rejoiced that day. But all this happened. You know, feel like you, you're happy and the next day something very bad happened to you and you feel like... <clears throat> Look, God, what happened? And one on your side say, should I walk anymore? Can I, can I keep doing this? Can, can I just stop here? And just do what my dad will want me to do. I, I, I thank God for for pastor. I thank God for the church and people pray for me in Australia in that time. And God is good. And one day that I call home and and and, and I call my my mother answered the phone and I talked to my mother and my dad talked on the side say, Are you just gonna talk to your mother? You're not gonna talk to me. So I just cry because that's the most thing that I want to be back in my life. I've been crying for many months and I've been crying for many days. That's the thing that I want in my life. So I, I, I thank God that I not, I not stop walking with God. I not stop serving God because those things that happened to me. I see that Paul, that the thing that happened to me, him here, that I feel like that's so much. In verse 23, say he, 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 get, he gets, what do you call, hit? Strike? Oh, yeah, he get whipped. He in prison. He almost died. You feel like this is the Christian life? This is the thing that we go through? That, that, that we all like, this is hard thing. This is what a thing that we don't expect. And sometimes we, we fight with hurt from other Christians. We hurt from, 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 from we lost someone we love. Or, or, or other Christians that make us upset. And we thought, this is what a Christian should be. But God said that in the Bible, never promised us that those things did not gonna happen to us. But what we're gonna look at the thing that God say to us in the Jer- 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 Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. That's that's when I when I saw this passage that I I uh, just just read that verse eleven. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Amen. You know, here that God have better plan in our life. You know, God, God understand that Paul that go through all those things, and I believe that God understand what I feel when that happened to me. I don't see back then. I can't see anything. I feel no hope. I feel hurt. I, I feel like I need, I need man to give me some comfort. I don't see any hope. I don't see any, any good thing going to come out from this. But the Bible says that God works all things together for good. 
If I not pass that day, I won't be here today. Because from that day, that thing that happened to me, that made me better Christian, better servant, better pastor. I grow because those things that happen. That's one of the things that happened to me. But there's many things that happened after that. But I believe that Christian, we all go to them. I think Paul, all this happened to Paul. I don't think Paul that... I, I just appreciate his example in, 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 in the Bible. I believe that God wrote this not to fill up this book, but for us to learn something about this. And God, God, God put this in, in, in the Bible for us. Like He knows that Christians will go through this thing. Well, we will fight this thing. But God said, I will be with you. I will help you. And this passage says, God have better pain in our future. I thank God for His promise that, that He gave to us. And, and, and comforts me that to this day. That I keep stay even some days it hard. You know, Paul do not let those things stop him to walk with God. Paul do not use his cue, that thing that happened to him that stop him to serve God. You know, we, 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 we need to learn from Paul. That he is, he is the good example in us. I, many times when I scourge, this is what I read. And every time that I, 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 I see people preach about this, I like, he is our comfort. The Bible says that the testing coming in our life, we are not the first one. It has been before have been somebody else. You know, I know, I, I think in, in, in India, I think you probably find some, some hard thing in your life. Pastor, I think you, you, you go through some pain, some hurt from some people that they, they not quite walk with the way that God wants them to walk. They say things that, that, that shouldn't say what God will want them to say. If somebody say something that hurt you. But all that, we see Paul that if, if those things can happen to Paul, that can happen to us too. But God promised us that he had a better plan in our life. I thank God that I not stop when the day, that hard day come. And I still keep going. Follow Pastor Shemish. Still keep, you know, I, I'm not like a strong man that, that, that every day that walk with God and perfectly, no. But I not stop walking. Even I'm tired, I still walking. Even I'm weak, I still walking. You know, if, if I'm not doing that, if, 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 if Paul not doing that won't be in this book for us to learn. Won't be example for us to encouraging us. The Bible promises us that God has better plan for our future. I see many people go to what I go through and they're not there now. They left. They give up God and to go to what they dad want. And look at their life now. Have nothing. No future. Go back to own life. The life is the mess. It's, it's, 
I want to encourage you to. I, I know what some people go through different things, some pain, some hard thing, but this is the best way in your life is serving God. Amen. Walk with God. Don't let pain hurt the thing that happened in our life, in Christian life, stop us to walk with God. Amen. Stop us to serve God. I don't say that from, from all that happened to me in the future, it's nothing bad going to happen. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to stop. I think more waiting for me. But God said, He with me. We look last word and then we're done. John chapter 6, verse 37, that the promise of God in our life. You can just read. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Amen. When, when, when we come to God, when we with God, He's not going to cast us away. He promises us He's going to be with us even the storm come. You remember the, the, the disciple in the boat, they go to the big storm. Jesus never left them. Jesus in the boat. And Jesus helped them to the storm. In Christian life, we, we, we can feel like we are alone. When we have pain in our life, hurt in our life. But I want to encourage you today that God be with us. And he's going to help us. I don't know which way to go. But God knows the way. God has the answer. And God's going to be with us and get us through the storm. From that day that I, I, never, I never think that I'm I, I, I going to be pastor in the Consulant Baptist Church now. I can't see that. Pastor say, you just stay with God. Stay with God. I, I, I just, I, yeah, I, try, mm, I try. Really, that day I can't see. But because what God promised us is, is true, has come true. From that 10 years now, from, from that happened to me, it's true back then. And still true today. And going to be true in the future as well. And God promised us that he, better, he have a better plan for us. And He's going to be with us in our life. Don't let those things stop us. Don't let the pain, the hurt, or, or your husband don't want, or your wife don't like, or, or your family try to pressure on you, like stop you to go to church, and stop you to serve God. I know it's not easy, but God has better things waiting for you. We pray. Lord, Father, thank you today. <coughs> thank you for your word. Thank you for Paul that be a good example for us, that encouraging us, even how things that happened to him, he still keep going. He not stop. Lord, we want to be like him. I understand that sometimes we go through some very hard thing. And Lord, please give us strength and faith that we can walk with you, serve you. Thank you for your promise, Lord, that you will never leave us. You will be with us and you have better future for us. Lord, I pray you will Speak to our heart and bless us this second service, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.